Hey guys, welcome back to Tech or Duo. In this video, we're going to set up an alias for our Synology program. So you can just type in the URL and then hit forward slash whatever the name you want to put is. So we're going to do something pretty simple. We're going to download and install NoteStation and then we're going to just set up an alias to get that forwarding out. So it's a little bit easier to go to and it goes directly into the NoteStation app. All right, so the first thing we want to do, of course, is download NoteStation. So we're just going to do that really quick. You can do this with a lot of apps as well, and, and you'll see that in just a moment. So I'm going to hit install, and this should just take a moment. It's pretty quick. Okay, so NoteStation has finished. We will click open, and you'll see NoteStation is going to just open up right in the middle of our screen here. So we're still inside of the um, DSM, essentially. Um, the main interface here and you can see we have a little window here of note station and what we want to do though is set this up to um, basically open directly into note station so the first thing you want to do we'll just close this head over to the control panel and we're gonna go to login portal and from login portal it gives you of course the DSM ports and, and so on but we want to go to applications and under applications here, you can adjust the alias for any of these items. So for instance, Synology Photos, I had set it up to just forward photos, forward slash photos. We want to take NoteStation and we're going to do the same thing. So you can do it with Drive, of course, um, which is pretty popular to do with Drive. But let's double click on NoteStation. You can edit the um, wallpaper, which is really cool. Um, but here's the alias. So what we want to do is just type in Note. We can type in note, we can type in notes, we can put in the full note station name if you want, um, but we just want note. You can add in a few other items here, domain, access control, so on and so forth, but we don't need that right now. This is just a demo on how to get into this from here. So we're logged in, well, you can stay logged in or you can go directly to the portal, but we'll sign out just so that you guys can see the full, uh, full effect here. We're signed out. We're going to go back to our URL, do a forward slash note, hit enter. Now it brings us directly to NoteStation, which is really cool. I'm going to type in my username, my verification code, and now I'm in. So as you can see, this is a full screened note station pretty much, and you can do whatever you want from here. Um, you can just take care of your stuff from there. And so this is just a really simple, really easy way to uh, kind of separate the apps so that they're on their own. You just go to the website, you type in that forward slash alias, and you're in the application. Um, makes it just really easy, makes it much better to work with in general than trying to work out of that desktop kind of um, DSM version. All right, guys, hopefully that video um, helped you out um, on how to make an alias for uh, Synology applications. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, like, and subscribe, and enjoy your day.